Hi my loves, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my October favorites. I cannot believe that October is already wrapping up. I'm super, super excited for November because if you guys know me, you know that I love Christmas. I'm literally obsessed with Christmas. It is my favorite time of the year and as soon as Halloween is over, I go into full on Christmas mode. I'm just so excited. November to me is like the beginning of Christmas time and I just love that, you know, getting all the decorations and decorating the house and everything. It's my second favorite month after December, of course. And also Penelope turns one years old in November. I literally cannot believe she's already gonna be one If you guys don't know Penelope is my little baby Pomeranian and um, she's turning one at the end of November And it's also my mom's birthday and Thanksgiving, you know I just love seeing my family so I'm actually really excited to be leaving October because November is like I said one of my favorite months of the year So without further ado I'm just gonna get into my October favorites because I did get a lot of new makeup this month And I had a lot of really cool new stuff to share with you guys So yeah, if you want to see what my October favorites were then just keep watching my first favorite is the Anastasia contour kit I finally 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 got my hands on this bad boy I have been wanting this for quite a while and it has been sold out on Sephora's website for literally ever and they do not sell it in the store at Sephora it's only online and it's been sold out and like literally you could not just get it and I kept checking back couldn't get it couldn't get it and then one day I was like you know what I should look on the Anastasia website and see if they sell it on there I look on the website it's like on there not even sold out anything I'm like Oh my god, this whole time I've been waiting for Sephora to restock it, like not even thinking to look at their website for it, and they had it there. So I ordered it right off their website. So if you've been checking on Sephora like me, check their website because they have it there. At least they did when I got it. So these are the six shades that you get. You kind of get three highlights and three contours. I have been loving this so far. I haven't had it for all that long. I've had it for maybe two weeks or so. My next favorite is actually a brush. And you guys know typically that I use my beauty blender to blend out my foundation. But now that we are going into the winter months, I tend to do more full coverage foundation in the winter and less coverage in the summer. Not quite sure really why. Um, but I have been using my Mojo Beauty, what is this, their F8 brush. So it's basically a flat top kabuki. You guys know that I love Mojo Beauty brushes. They're absolutely amazing. Um, but this brush I really have been loving to blend out my foundation instead of the Beauty Blender because I love the way the Beauty Blender blends my foundation out. It blends it really, really flawlessly, but it definitely does sheer out the foundation. Um, and when I want a really more full coverage look, this is definitely the brush that I go to, which I have been doing a little bit more often. I just really love this brush. It just really blends everything out flawlessly, but still gives you that really full coverage finish. Um, um, so I really, really like it. I'll have a link to Mojo Beauty down in the bottom bar, and I have a 20% off coupon code for you guys if you are interested in that. So highly, highly recommend this and all their brushes. You guys know that they're like the only brushes that I use. Next, we have my Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder. So you guys know when I first got this, I showed it in a haul, and I told you that I was not crazy about it at all. Um, because I got it to set my under eye concealer and as you guys can tell I like super super light under eyes and um, This really wasn't working for me for my under eye concealer like at all It was way too dark and it was like literally making my under eyes darker than my actual skin tone I guess because it's not it's not really a light yellow. It's it's a pretty deep yellow color so I realized that actually um, you know, I should have gotten a lighter color to use for my under eyes and not the banana powder because this is really better for an under eye highlight for someone with much darker skin than mine. So it just really wasn't working for me. And then one day I decided, you know what, I'm gonna try and set like my whole face with it, like just like set my foundation with this yellow powder because I do have very red undertones to my skin, which I try and kind of counteract, which yellow can be used to counteract red undertones. So I went ahead and used this and I loved the finish that it gave to my face because the powder itself I always loved it's very very finely milled it's a very very nice luxury powder like it says but the color was just really off for my under eyes but I love it to set my whole face so I have been using this every single day to set my entire face and it works really really another favorite of mine this month was this Tarte Gifted Mascara I love Tarte I did a huge haul of a bunch of their products at the beginning of the month I'll link it in the bottom bar if you didn't see it but this mascara was one thing that I picked up it's their Tarte Smart Mascara gifted or gifted smart mascara I don't know which way you're supposed to say it but I really really like this it's really really great it's a very like wet mascara if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense like anyone besides me this is what the wand looks like um but sometimes I think mascara can be very very drying and this mascara is not drying at all it's very very wet which I kind of like I don't know I feel like 
the mascara is really drying on my lashes. It's just like hard and I'm like ripping out my lashes. I don't know. So I like this mascara a lot and it probably doesn't make any sense as to why I like it, but I think it's a great mascara. It definitely packs on a lot of volume and a lot of length in one mascara, so I would highly recommend it. I have two skincare favorites for this month because normally once we transition from the summer months into the fall and winter months, I do kind of switch up my skincare routine because I have really dry skin, so my worst kind of time is the fall and winter because my skin gets super, super dry. So a new cleanser that I had been trying out this month is from Derma MD, and it is their enzyme cleanser in pineapple and pi paella? Papaya, I always say it wrong. And papaya, and guys, this smells so good, like literally so good. Every time I wash my face with it, I'm like, ah, oh, like it smells like fresh fruit, like amazing. I absolutely, all of their products smell amazing, but this one is like by far my absolute favorite. It's an awesome cleanser. It gets all of my makeup and any impurities off my face. I didn't react to it or anything at all. And then another product that I have been trying out from Derma MD as well is their moisturizer. And this is their moisturizer and repair hydrate moisturizer. So again, this is suited for more of dry skin. And I absolutely love this as well. This smells amazing too. This one is more like it has like that classic lotion smell, but almost like a vanilla-y scent to it. And it's really, really nice. And it's a, just a very hydrating moisturizer because I used to use the Clean and Clear Dual Action, which is a very kind of watery moisturizer. This one's much thicker, which is just what I need for this time of year because my skin just gets so dried out. So it's definitely a lot thicker, but it just hydrates my skin so, so well. So I absolutely love this. This has been like literally a holy grail for me recently. My next favorite is a MAC blush and it's in the color Warm Soul. This is what it looks like. Let me close up on it for you guys. It is just the most pretty baked blush color. It is just like literally gorgeous on the skin. I've been wearing it like every single day. I have it on my face right now. It's Blondie. I used to always talk about this blush and I never was able to get my hands on it because it was part of a collection, I do believe, um, and it was limited edition. So I never was able to get my hands on it when she was talking about it. But then I went to a cosmetics company store and they had it there. So I was like, oh my God, I have to give this a try because Casey Holmes loves it and I really want to try it. So I bought it and I love, love, love it. It's just so, so pretty. I tend to like blushes that have a little bit of shimmer in them and this one does just because it is like a baked blush, but it's just the perfect everyday color and it kind of goes with anything because it's pretty neutral. So I highly, highly recommend this if you're looking for like an everyday blush color. Another favorite of mine this month for cheeks has been the Tarte Cheek Stain in the color Exposed. It is so, so pretty. It's just, again, a very neutral color. I like to do kind of more neutral colors on my cheeks. This one's great for every day. Just kind of like a shimmery, peachy type color, which is typically what I go for for my cheeks. I love this most especially when I'm doing like a dewy skinned look because then I don't want to use a powder blush, so I'll go in with a blush like this that's a little bit more dewy and keeps my skin looking glowing and moisturized, and I absolutely love it. A lip favorite of mine this month has been the Gerard Cosmetics Lipstick in the color Nude. I am definitely a nude girl. I wear nude lips most days on a daily basis, and this nude is just so, so perfect. It's super, super great for fall because it's not a super light nude because I hate, you know, in the summer you can almost get away with like doing a light nude lip, but in like the fall and winter it needs to be like a little bit darker. And this one is much darker. Well, not like really dark, but it's not a super dead nude at all. So I really, really, really love this. Everyone has been loving the Gerard Cosmetic lipsticks. Like everyone's talking about them. So I'm sure you guys know um, that they're awesome already, but I highly recommend all of their lipsticks and the color nude has been my absolute favorite. I've been using it like every single and last day. Last but not least, I have a perfume favorite and it is the Hello Perfume from Harvey. Prints. I got this in my September BoxyCharm box. So I'll link my September BoxyCharm unboxing down below if you guys want to check that out and see everything that I got in my box. But this was one of the things that I got in there and it's kind of like a little rollerball size of this perfume. So I have been keeping this one in my purse and then I did go ahead and get the full size one when I realized how much I love the way this smells. It just smells so good. Oh my goodness. Like literally amazing. So I love this. I have been like literally wearing this every day. This is like my new signature scent. So yeah, those are all of my favorites for October. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean so, so much to me. And I wish all of you a very happy and safe Halloween. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.